Yo, what is going on guys? Your boy Russ back on Gamma Swarm Madden 17 Ultimate Team. Guys, as you can see, I am looking at the Stafford on the auction block, but he is on my team. My bad. I actually fucked up because this is actually a stream game that I recorded. I didn't realize I didn't record my team, so I wasn't able to actually get the footage of him in my team. You know how, you know how I show the team usually before each game. Well, I actually had to show the card on the auction block, so I apologize for that. But you guys see his stats. Um, he is, or he does have 98 throws short. Or not 98 throw short, 98 throw power and 95 deep. I did have him chemmed out. You guys will see in this game, um, the 96 card does show next to his player model during this game. So you'll see I am using the 95 Stafford. And there's a ton of people that can vouch for me in the comment section below. Because this game was on stream and I did play like 5 games with this card. And this is kind of a review sort of thing. I am cutting out all defense except for plays, you know, turnover, stuff like that, how I got the ball back. Um, this is actually the first time I'm actually going to do a play review this way. So I'm actually going to focus on this card. I showed every offensive play, um, and tell you guys Stafford's weaknesses and strengths. So his strengths are for sure his throw power. So, I mean, he'll gun it, he'll get it there, but his weakness for sure is that short and mid, um, I could definitely see it. And also the throw deep was not that good. I mean, Stafford was missing throws deep. It was very surprising to me with the 95 deep and 98 throw power that he was missing um, throws as bad as he was. I mean, he missed a couple. Um, obviously, in this gameplay, there's not a lot of terrible throws you will see from this Stafford. But I'm telling you guys, through five games with this card, he did miss throws. Now, take that as you will. You, every card seems to play different for everybody. Except for a couple, you know, there's there's cards that just play shit for everybody. But uh, right there, I don't know if that was Stafford's fault. I don't think it was. I think that was just me throwing that way too late. And that was just Willie Brown making a play. But Matthew Stafford, in general, seems like a more pocket passer friendly quarterback. Even with 79 speed, you may be thinking, if you're looking at the card, okay, well, I'm a scrambling guy. But you know what? He's got 79 speed. I can work with that. And I need the accuracy. He doesn't feel much more accurate than Russell Wilson, and Russell Wilson has way better speed. That's who I'm comparing him to because Russell Wilson is the best quarterback I have used in Madden 17. And Russell Wilson miss, misses throws. Matthew Stafford misses throws like that. That was a high point, guys. That was a really, really bad high point. Um, you know, I've had throws with Russell where he would put that on the money, and I've had throws with other QBs as well. Even QB Doug Baldwin put that throw on the money um, 8 out of 10 times. But you guys can see Randy Moss bailing us out right there. Don't get me wrong. The Stafford would make a nice deep throw here and there. But he definitely missed some. And it was really, really surprising. His weakness, like crazy weakness for sure, is throw on the run, which is obvious. And his play action, which are both 85 and under. I'm pretty sure his play action is at 83. Um, is definitely a problem. Um, you know, with me, I run a lot of play action. I need to be able to get defenders to bite. Um, you know, 85 is, or 83 is definitely, I just hit my mic, is definitely not that great. Um, I would prefer 85 and up at least, and that's still not that great. I usually like maybe, I usually won't buy a card unless it has like maybe 87 to 90 around there. But 85 is usually my, my bottom point for play action. And that's why I really have never used a guy like Randall Cunningham because I know his play action is complete shit. Um, but this Stafford also had 85 throw on the run, which is not good at all. You know, he had 79 speed, but he wasn't really able to nail throws once you got out of the pocket, unless you set your feet, which you could do. But if you have to make those dire throws, you're not really going to be able to do it. And that was definitely a huge problem for me using this card. Now, keep in mind, this was just me using this card. This was my personal experience with this card. It could be completely different for you. I had somebody come in my stream when I was playing with this card saying he was the GOAT. He was a beast. He made throws all over the place. So don't, you know, take my word and you know say oh this card's complete shit because dangerous things is shit right here this was a missed throw that i was surprised that he missed that was towards the end of the game moss did beat willie brown i couldn't tell if he got bumped or not but that was just really off target but anyway guys this gameplay is coming to an end let me know if you guys like this style of gameplay for when i you know use a specific card um and i want to focus on that card instead of showing the entire game just show plays with them or this in this case i did show every run play every offensive play but anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope this helped anybody that is thinking about picking up that Stafford or think about doing the solo challenges specifically for him. Obviously, he's not that much. Is he worth it for price? It's up to you. If you're a pocket passer, yes. I did hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to look out for the next video. And as always, the Andrews Army, I'm out.